TENS is a term to describe using low current electricity to produce muscle stimulation. This is used for people with muscle spasms in the neck and pain, which frequently is associated with a cervical herniated disc. Now you can get a TENS unit, which is a portable unit, to take home, or it's used by with a big machine when you go for your physical therapy or to the chiropractor or even with your acupuncturist. This is a typical TENS unit that well, industrial okay. strength TENS unit for physical <laughs> Yeah, it's an electrical stimulation unit. Right. It's the difference why they, even though this is TENS because it's right. transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulator, no one in the clinic ever refers to this as a TENS unit. Oh. They always refer to the small portable units as oh, TENS units. This is E-STIM. Yeah, electro -stim. exactly. Okay. So, so let's see what, it, yeah. Yeah. see what it feels like. <laughs> What is that, water? Or yeah, it's just water. Make it stick. Yeah, maybe we'll go here yeah. since we don't have a hairier. So you realize if you electrocute me, this will be a viral YouTube. <laughs> you know, really oh, there's good, fun stuff really we could do. Really good for our ratings, right? There's fun stuff. I, I, you know, I could teach you about the physics of electricity. Using this. Yeah, I like learning about the physics of electricity without electrodes on my arm. Current density. You know about yeah. current density? I'm gonna find out in a few minutes. I'll show you the trick I did with the kids. My son used to love this. He used to have his portable unit. So this obviously would go on the neck. Where would you put them on the back? Well, the yeah, the, you know, if we're doing the neck, we usually yeah. use the upper trap and then some of the cervical okay. or spinals, but the smaller electrodes. Okay. So let's take you down. This nice knowing you. <laughs> now I'm going to do this in a pulsing what? mode because okay. it's more dramatic. You can see okay. muscle twitching because you'll yeah. start to feel. Mm -hmm. You can tell me as you start feeling something. Yeah, I feel a little something now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I feel but like a little. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the machine That's has wild. taken yeah. over. Yeah. Your hand. That's and depending right. Depending where we so, position. Yeah. <laughs> I won't do this during surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And I could crank that up and make a much stronger contraction. Okay, I see. You know, so we, we yeah. can do this for pain relief, but we can also use this for muscle re-education. And like after knee, so that, knee surgery, wounds, we put this on the quadriceps, and you crank it up in a tetanizing <laughs> contraction yes, um, to help stimulate. But people, people with cervical hernia discs are going to be in spasm. They're going to show up in spasm. Right. So, so doesn't this just give them more spasms? No, because if you use this pulsing mode, yeah. it actually helps break it down. Oh, I see. Yeah. So how long will they be sitting here with this? Uh, 15 to 20 minutes. I see. So it feels um, like a very, very slight uh, tingle, that's all. And then yeah. all of a sudden you have your nose So and will they notice their muscles twitching in the neck and the, mm -hmm. and the arm? Not always. Um, well, because it depends on the intensity. Mm -hmm. And in a new herniated disc, I would not use this mode. It would be a little too aggressive. So they would feel more just a buzz, a kind of steady buzz, which is more relaxing. Mm -hmm. As they're less, um, less acute, we can get it deeper then into the muscle, and that's when you use the pulsing mode, I see. as it's more comfortable. So the bottom line on E-STEM is that it's not going to cure your cervical hernia disc, but it may help with muscle spasm, and certainly worth trying when you're seeing the chiropractor, acupuncturist, or physical therapist.